Hi everyone, welcome to Anna's Nail Advice, a series where you guys send me pictures of your nails and I try to figure out what's going on with your nails and give you an advice how to take care of them and how to make them better. In today's video, we are going to talk about nails, uh, working hands. We're going to talk about nails that need a little bit more love. So one of our viewers from UK sent me these pictures and here they are. All right, so let's see what she is saying. I'm a nail biter and a farmer, so my hands get a lot of abuse. I've made the mistake of cutting the wrong skin. This morning I've pushed it back gently, but there was so much loose skin. What shall I do? A program of recovery and suggested products would be amazing. My nails are flat, bitten, soft, split, and they tear. I would love for you to use me as a video example to help people like me. And that's what we're doing. I'm desperate to get some help. I've tried everything, even tried acrylics, but nothing stays on my nails anyway. They are off within days. And yes, that's what would happen and I will explain why. Okay, so first of all, I am a curious person. So I had to, you know, she, she in her signature, she had a name of her farm. So I had to check out what kind of farm it is. So here's what I found, such a cute sheep. She has a sheep farm. Look at this, I have to show you this video. My little baby sheep jump, so cute. Okay, so obviously she, she is busy and she's working hard with her hands, so so here's the, the advice that I would have. Okay, let's look at the questions again. Okay, so she made a mistake of cutting the wrong skin. Of course, when you cut the living skin, the skin is trying to protect itself because it's expecting more um, abuse. So it grows harder and it grows stronger to protect itself. So this is what um, happened. So yes, this skin, which this is not a cuticle, so let's look at this picture. Okay, so as you can see, this skin here, this is not a cuticle, and a lot of people think this is a cuticle. This is a stretched proximal nail fold. So this area is a proximal nail fold, and the sides are called lateral folds, and all of this is a living skin, so we have to treat it as a living skin and not remove it. But the problem is, why is it so overgrown? So sometimes, and I don't know why, with certain people, for some reason, um, and I think sometimes it's due to uh, nail biting or some kind of a trauma, this skin sticks to the nail really, really well. And as the nail is growing, the skin begins to stretch with the nail. And as it's stuck, the skin gets dragged with the nail stretching right and it ends up looking like this so very often what people do is they try to well first of all cut it which is not a good idea or they push it all the way back and then they end up with this skin kind of standing up not knowing what to do with it i actually get a lot of um, questions like that so this is exactly what happened to this viewer and let's see her nails after pushing back that skin. You see how it's lifted and now it's like, okay, what do I do with this skin? And here's what I recommend doing. When the skin, okay, so what happens is this actually will get a little bit worse because the skin right now here is getting a lot of moisture and I guess oil and stuff from the nail plate. And once it's separated like this, it tends to dry out and sometimes even tear, like in this nail, you can see actually. So what I recommend doing is realizing that this is not something that happened overnight and trying to have overnight success with the skin like that, it's not going to happen. And I always recommend a very gentle approach. So first of all, proper skin care, because you want to make sure that the skin is nice and flexible and elastic. So that's number one. 
Number two, weekly manicures with the Blue Cross, the way I show you guys. But don't try to push it all the way back. Try to just nudge it every week, just a little bit of nudge. And what's going to happen, you're going to have a gradual progression. So every week, you can even take pictures of the nails. This is really kind of a cool thing to see that progress because very often, and I'm telling you, I've seen it with my clients where, you know, sometimes clients come in and um, on a weekly basis for just a quick manicure. And I see them for the second time and I'm like, hmm, I'm not sure if there is a, if there is a progress, but I do take pictures often because I'm a geek like that somehow and and you can see progress you can see progress from the first to the second then from the second to third and that's exactly what we're trying to do it's we're trying to create a progress and not perfection and within a few weeks the skin really really improves and actually the nail bed changes shape a little bit so um in this case I would recommend even pushing back, just grabbing like this, the, the little um, wooden stick, the orange wood stick, and just pushing it back. Obviously, wash your hands. Just a little bit on, on with the side of the stick. Don't jam that stick this way. I like to use it on the side, just a little bit, very, very gently, even every day after you wash your hands, after you take a shower, and then just put a cream on. That makes a huge difference because that that's really... Um, improves the nails in the long run. Which creams I would recommend? Okay, so for people that work with their hands, it is normal for the skin to be a little bit thicker because this, if you, you're working with your hands, the skin needs to build up a little bit thicker layer to protect itself, right? So it is, I would say, a little bit unrealistic to you know expect a baby smooth skin because we're working with our hands. Just like people that are you know, out in the sun a lot, they are darker because the skin is trying to protect itself, right? So you get darker. Same thing as people that do a lot of uh, running, they have more calluses on their feet because the, the feet, the, the skin is trying to protect itself. Same thing, uh, when people do a lot of weight training, they would have calluses, that's absolutely normal. So one thing that I would recommend is some type of barrier cream and some of them call them almost like a glove in a bottle. Um, I personally like the CeraVe, uh, sorry, La Roche-Posay has Cica Plast or Cica, no, Cica Plast was the one for the face. Amazing product, by the way. I used it after waxing. It's really, really good. It creates like a very thin, breathable layer on the skin. So they also have a hand cream and it's a very, very light cream. You put that after you wash your hands, which protects the hands and rebuilds, helps to rebuild the, the skin barrier. So that I would definitely re recommend during the day, just a small dab. And then I would recommend, um, especially for, for, for your skin, I would recommend the Carousel. The Carousel, it's not actually available in uh, in UK, unfortunately. Okay, so I'll try to find something else. Any type of urea, 10% urea based cream would be a good idea. Adding even Vaseline to it also would be a good idea. And because that will exfoliate the skin a little bit, the urea, and it will soften the skin. So once that skin is softer and it's more elastic, it will bounce back. So right now what I would do, I would not cut that skin. Eventually, once you push it back on a regular basis, the skin is going to shrink um, and it's not going to look like this. So just, just have patience and just, just try to really protect that skin. When it comes to the nails, um, obviously not biting them would be a good idea. But I would um, make sure that they are smoother. So just use a file to smooth any edges because once you have edges, then we are, um, it's, you're more prone to, to pick at them. Actually, another thing that's really um, interesting is that when people bite the, the nails, the skin becomes thicker and sometimes inflamed because it's reacting to the enzymes in our saliva. So that's why it sometimes tends to overgrow to protect itself. That's, that's what's happening. So, you know, trying to, I used to bite my nails and, you know, once you get into that habit, it's very difficult to, to, to stop that. So I tend to then pick, if there was anything to pick, I'll pick the nails. But what I do is I try to keep my hands busy and even kind of play with 
with a stick or something just to not pick up my nails. So this is something that maybe someone who's biting their nails um, would consider because we tend to fidget like that, right? And that helps. You can just play with the stickers. Okay, so let's see what else is she saying. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. She's tried everything and even tried acrylics, but nothing stays on my nails anyway. They are off within days. Yes, because when you are working with your hands, you are putting a lot of pressure on that small nail plate. And if the extension, if, if and I mean, I've worked um, with very short nails and I used to extend them and I would not extend them more than 30% and usually because uh, that's a very realistic kind of length because if you have anything longer than that there was just too much pressure from the extension on the nail plate and it just tends to come off also when the nails are so short they tend to be very flat and if people to extend the nails if they use tips the tips are more round so they just don't fit the nails properly also because you have such a small area to bond the 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 tip to or the extension to it's just not lasting very often people get the the nails done or extended for the wrong reason because they they are hard on their nails thinking that this is what's going to help them and it's the opposite. Once you have something bonded to the surface of your nails, you actually have to be much more gentle and much more careful with the nails. And if you work a lot with your hands, that's just simply not possible, right? So it's just maybe not the best fit. But if you push back the skin and if you try to file the nails smoother and using a coat of clear nail polish even, somehow on a lot of people, it actually elongates the, the nail plate. So, and the nail bed actually becomes, they, they, the nails change the shape. The best example is Mr. Salon Life here. We, and I'm actually going to put a picture um, on the screen how his nail changed. His nails changed over the years. When I started manicuring his nails, how, how much they've grown and the skin, how, how nicely it receded. So, okay, tear. Um, yes, I saw a little tear um, right here. I'm not sure if there's another picture that I can see it. Okay, here. We can see it. Actually, by the way, this is a very good quality picture. So there is a wrench here and possibly there was some damage here in the uh, matrix area and the nail is not forming properly. So in this area, it's going to be weaker and it, then it tends to, to break. So again, using the oil will make the nails much more flexible and it will prevent the nails from, from splitting like that. So here, as you can see, I would round off these corners a little bit as well. That will help the nail to grow a little bit um, more narrow. This is just a trauma and I'm seeing like kind of scratches in the nail. Just be careful that when you like here, that you're pushing back that skin. Again, I would not recommend pushing as much. And um, she was saying she did it gently possibly, but it's quite a lot of kind of separation. So you don't have to do as much. Being very careful that you don't scratch the nail plate because the, the layers of the nails are very precious. We only have so many of them and the nail plate forms over here so once it moves it cannot grow any more layers so you cannot fix the nail from the bottom up it just has to regrow so it's very important not to scratch the nail and not to surface and not to damage the surface these sides tend to very often get a little bit harder so i suggest just using a, a, a file very gentle file and just smoothing it a little bit just just not trying to remove every dry flake but just to smooth them a little bit right here on the side and i was also wondering what kind of uh cuticle remover you were using i think the blue cross is available in the uk i'm going to check it out but that's definitely what i would recommend it's just very uh quick quickly acting and i'll have a video in the description on how to how to use the the um, the cuticle remover because there are some tricks to it I guess this is it. That's all. Oh, by the way, please, 
send me updated pictures. So I would love to see your progress. And maybe in a few weeks, we can do another video showing the viewers um, how, how the nails can, can change for the better with just a, you know, uh, a gentle, consistent care. All right, I think this is it for today's video. Thank you so much for sending me the pictures again. And thank you so much for your interest in our channel and in natural nail care. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Thank you.